Bonjour. Today we're going to be talking about prepositions with geographical place names, which is the long and fancy way of saying we're going to learn some prepositions in French to use before cities, countries, and continents. So, um, first thing you need to know, as you know, in French, all nouns have a gender. They're either masculine or feminine. So, it's important to know the gender of the country name, uh, the place name, if it's a country or a city or a um, state, whatever it is, we need to know whether they're masculine or feminine so that we can choose the correct preposition. So, um, countries that end in E in French are feminine. This is a general rule. And then everything else is masculine. So that makes it a little bit easier. Um, but this, uh, you know, there's always exceptions to rules. So one important exception is Le Mexique. Mexico um, in French is Mexique. It ends with an E, but it is masculine. So um, aside from that, pretty much if you just count on anything else that ends in E is going to be feminine. Um, so if you want to just remember that Canada and Mexico are our two neighbors, they are both masculine nouns, um, that might help you. Um, the continents are feminine in French, all of them. So we have l'Afrique, l'Amérique du Nord, l'Amérique du Sud. So we have Africa, North and South America, l'Antarctique, l'Asie, l'Europe. Oceanie. So um, in English, we generally would talk about Australia as a continent. Um, as a contrast, in French, they are going to call that l'Océanie, and um, it's going to com be combined Australia and sort of all these little islands in the South Pacific. Most U.S. states are masculine, except for this list right here of states that have French names. So we have La Californie, La Caroline du Nord, La Caroline du Sud, La Floride, La Géorgie, La Louisiane, La Pennsylvanie, La Virginie, et La Virginie Occidentale. So um, those ones are feminine. Everybody else is going to be masculine. So let's get started with learning about prepositions. If you want to say um, that you are going to you are in a certain place, or um, so if you want to say to, at, or in, we're going to use the preposition a before the name of a city or an island. And I'm going to have some um, examples for you of all of these in just a moment, um, but this chart sort of summarizes what's to come in the next few slides. Um, if you uh, want to say that you are in or on a continent, you're going to use on. You're also going to use en before a feminine country or a feminine state. Also use en if you have a masculine country or state that begins with a vowel. Um, you're going to use o, a u, with a masculine country. You're going to use o, a u, x, with a plural country. Um, our country, um, the United States, is plural, so you will um, have to use a plural sometimes. And then for a masculine state, you're going to use dans le. So Dans le Tennessee, for example, in Tennessee. So here are some examples. You're probably familiar with a already because we've been making sentences since French one telling where we live. So j'habite à Johnson City. I live in Johnson City. Um, il voyage à Paris. He is traveling to Paris. So notice that this preposition a can mean in or to. And also on the previous slide, I let you know it means at. So um, just It'll translate different ways depending on the context and the verb that you're using there. But just remember, a goes with the city. A can also go with an island. So President Obama et sa famille sont allés à Cuba. So they went to Cuba. This is the past tense right here that we'll um, learn about in an upcoming lesson. Um, use en with a continent. Les manchots empereurs habitent en Antarctique. So um, Emperor penguins live in Antarctica. Use on with feminine countries and states. So here's an example with a feminine country. La Tour Eiffel se trouve en France. The Eiffel Tower is located in France. This verb se trouver means to be located. O with masculine countries. So ma cousine habite au Canada. Use on 
before masculine countries or states that begin with a vowel sound. So, for example, Baghdad se trouve en Irak. On peut visiter Metropolis et voir la grande statue de Superman en Illinois. So, if we needed to say Illinois, for example, because it begins with a vowel, we're going to use on instead of o or dans le. Um, use o with a plural country. Nous sommes aux États-Unis. We are in the United States. Dans le, we're going to use before a masculine state. J'aime l'automne dans le Tennessee. Now, the majority of French textbooks will show, will ask you to use dans le before a masculine state. You will also hear French speakers use o, a, u, just like they would use for a masculine country um, before a masculine state. So, uh, just throwing that out there that you'll sometimes see different things, but they're both, I would consider both correct. All right, so let's do a little practice with a, un, o, and o. So I've got some city names, and I've told you, told you which countries they're located in. So, for example, we want to say that Tokyo is in Japan. You want to choose a, un, o, or o. Which one of these is the correct preposition to mean in Japan? Because you'll notice that I have a variety of countries here. Um, remember, the United States is plural. Um, France and Switzerland here both end in E, so they're both going to be feminine. Japan and Canada do not end in E, so that means they must be masculine. So take a moment, um, maybe jot down on a scrap sheet of paper which uh, preposition you would use for each of these. Pause the video, and then I'll show you the answers. So, réponse, the answers. We have Tokyo, it's O Japon, in Japan. So, O before um, Japan because it's a masculine country. Genève, it's en Suisse. Paris est en France. Two feminine countries we're using en to mean in here. Nashville est aux États-Unis, is in the United States. And um, O because États-Unis is plural. Montréal est au Canada. Montreal is in Canada, again, a masculine country. All right. Um, now we need to use prepositions that mean from. So you've probably, you may have seen de before as a preposition. Um, in this case, it's it's going to be used uh, before a city or an island name um, or a continent or a feminine country or state. All of these use de. Just change it to de apostrophe if it's if the word that comes next is beginning with a vowel sound. A masculine country, we're going to use du. You've seen du before as a contraction of de and le. Plural country, you're going to use de. Again, you've seen this before, a contraction of de and le. And then for a masculine state, use du or de l apostrophe before a vowel. So again, this is sort of lead, letting you know what's coming up in the next few slides. You can always come back um, to this chart for extra help. So we're going to use de with the city. L'avion arrive de Londres. So the plane is arriving from London. And here's the, the French uh, translation of the city of London. Uh, use de plus an island. And here we have Hawaii. So remember that H is silent in French, so it's going to be more like Hawaii. Um, so we use D apostrophe before that vowel sound. Use de plus a feminine country. Il revient de France aujourd'hui. So here's his ticket. He's coming home from France today. Um, use de plus a continent, um, de apostrophe again before a vowel. So, les éléphants viennent d'Asie et d'Afrique. This verb venir means um, to come, and so we have to come from. The elephants, or elephants, I'm sorry, come from Asia and Africa. Use de um, for a masculine country. So, il revient du Mexique demain. They're coming home from Mexico tomorrow. So, today they're sitting out on the beach enjoying the sunshine. Uh, use du with a masculine state, um, and then use this du l apostrophe before a vowel. So, il vient du Texas, this little, or big, cow. All right, so let's do a little practice with this. I've got, kind of uh, made some generalizations about foods and where they come from. So, we have three, four different ways to say from, and we're going to use these in front of these country names. So, again, you're going to need to remember if the country name is Masculine or feminine, so E, 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 those are all feminine. These do not end in E, so they're masculine. And then the United States, of course, is plural. So um, take a moment, pause the video, and write down which one of those froms 
works, and then we'll talk about them. All right, les bons chocolats viennent de Belgique. So good chocolates come from Belgium. So we know, um, perhaps you know that uh, Belgium and Switzerland are known for um, chocolate. Le bon sirop d'érable vient du Canada. So good maple syrup comes from Canada. You use du because Canada is masculine. Les croissants viennent de France. D-E before France because it is feminine. Les spaghettis viennent d'Italie. Spaghetti comes from Italy and so we're going to use apostrophe because of the vowel here. Les hamburgers viennent des États-Unis. Hamburgers come from the United States. Now remember again that even though um, Etats-Unis is a vowel here at the start, um, because we have an S at the end of D, it's all good. Le sushi vient du Japon. So, sushi comes from Japan. And I ran through those really quick, so hopefully you got those. Um, here is a helpful graphic that I found online that you might find useful. You might want to, uh, I'll put it on Canvas as well as a separate file so you can download it yourself. Um, but it just has um, the verbs like I'm going or I'm coming from. So if you're I'm going to Paris, to Canada, to France, and to the United States, it lets you see them all in one place. I'm coming from Paris, from Canada, from France, and from the United States. So here are a list of verbs that you might encounter when using these prepositions. So remember we said these ones mean to, at, or in. So, um, verbs like habiter, to live, aller, to go, voyager, to travel, se trouver, to be located, arriver, to arrive, and être, to be, we're all going to use, uh, we're going to use all these prepositions with those. So, j'habite à Johnson City, or je vais à Paris. Um, uh, with arrive, you're, if you're talking about arriving in a place, or arriving at a place, you would use these prepositions. Um, if you were using être in the sense of I am in Johnson City right now, um, you would use uh, these prepositions. Then over here we have the ones that mean from, the variations of de. So we have venir to come. So if you want to say I come from or I am from this place. Um, revenir is to come back. Rentrer is to go back or to go home. Partir to leave. Now again we have arrive and um, to be because you could say um, I'm arriving from. Nashville, um, or um, être, you can say I am from I am from Nashville. For example, if you um, instead of telling me I live in Nashville, you might tell me je suis de Nashville. That's where I'm from. Or I am from Tennessee. Je suis du Tennessee. And we'll see some. We'll see these again. I just um, give you a big old list. Sorry if that's overwhelming in any way. All right. So, um, we will do some practice with these uh, prepositions throughout the week. Please let me know if I can answer any questions for you. Have a great day.